Do you know there's a being of light, powerful and also light through still faster than any blade on earth? A technology super size, it cuts through metal in just milliseconds. That's right, we're talking about laser cutting. Today you will see how it works, why it's changing the game for manufacturers and how it completely redefines the way we shape metal. Laser technology is transforming the metalworking industry at record speed. Shops, factories and production lines around the world have ditched old school methods to embrace a cleaner, faster and more profitable way of working. Laser technology is transforming the metalworking industry at record speed. From industrial owns to display cases, railings and metal furniture, laser cooling isn't the future anymore, it's the present of modern manufacturing. So why is everyone in the industry talking about lasers? Because those who switch to it produce faster with less effort and way higher margins. Every year more than 1.8 billion tons of steel are produced and cutting it precisely has always been one of the toughest challenges. Before lasers there were only four main ways to do it and understanding them will show you exactly why the laser changed everything. Let's go back to where it all started. Oxy-fuel coating was the first industrial method used to slide through steel. It works by mixing fuel gas and oxygen under pressure to create a flame hot enough to melt and oxidize the metal. The heat can heat over 3000 Celsius degree, plenty to cut through thick plates, but it also grabs the material. It leaves raw edges, burn zones, and ton of extra polishes work. Still, it's used today in heavy duty workshops because it's cheap and simple. All you need is a torch, gas, and oxygen. Fire opens the path, but it also shows its limits. The evolution of cutting. It began when engineers found a way to compress gas and push it to extreme pressure and now to ionize it and turn it into plasma a jet reaching over 20,000 Celsius degree. The result? Faster, cleaner cuts, less distortion and the ability to work with stainless steel or aluminium. But this process relies on an electric arc between the nozzle and the material, which means consumables, constant maintenance and precise calibration. Plasma raw speed and versatility, yet perfection was still out of reach. Then came the power of water taken to the extreme. This method doesn't use heat, it uses pressure. Water accelerated to more than 60,000 psi, mixed with abrasive particles capable of cutting metal, stone, plastic or ceramic without destroying the material. Its main drawback lies in the high consumption of arasid material, the demanding pump maintenance and the moisture it leaves on every piece. Water proved that not everything needs to be cut with fire or even with concentrated fire, but precision and speed were still missing. Three technology, three attempts to master metal. Each broke progress, yet none could combine speed, clean lines and fine detail. They're still used today in certain industries. Hunting lines arrived. The moment when energy stopped being fire and became laser. The term laser comes from light amplification by stimulate emission of radiation. In simple terms, it means amplifying light through a controlled release of energy. Everything begins inside a metal box, known as the resonator or laser source. There, a tiny beam of light is created within an active medium, either a special optical fiber or a crystal infused with elements like ethereum. That beam bounces between mirrors thousands of times per seconds, 
gaining energy with every reflection until it becomes so powerful that it finally escapes the source through an optical cable. This cable carries the concentrated light straight to the coring head and when that beam reaches the metal, it doesn't touch it. There's no physical contact, no friction, no resistance. The energy is so concentrated that it melts, vaporizes or separates the material instantly, leaving behind a clean, perfectly defined edge. What does the coating? Isn't a blade? It's not gas, it's not fire, it's pure light. An invisible light to the human eye with a wavelength of 1064 nanometers sitting within in the infrared spectrum. Unlike the light from a regular bulb which spreads in every direction, laser light is monochromatic and coherent, it waves travel in a single direction. That coherence allows all its energy to be focused on a point smaller than the tip of a needle, producing cuts so fine they look as if they were made by an invisible blade. Imagine coring through steel with something, you can even see that's the precision of laser. With a fiber laser machine you can cut carbon steel, stainless steel up to 10 mm and aluminium up to 6 mm. But be careful, laser coring is only for metals. Trying to cut wood or acrylic could seriously damage your equipment. For those materials there are CO2 lasers specifically designed for non-metals. The secret behind a clean cut lines in the acid gases while the laser beam cuts the gas browns away debris and cools down the material. Depending on the job, compressed air is used for thin or galvanized steel. Oxygen is used for carbon steel and thicker materials. Nitrogen is used when you want perfect oxidation free finishes. And the best part, the laser only needs electricity and gas. No complex consumables, no waste, just power and precision. There are no electrical poles, no nozzles wearing out. Sforza machines feature automatic sensors that constantly maintain the exact height of coring head, even when the sheet is a slightly tighter of uneven. The cut can be as thin as a strand of hair, just 0.1 millimeters. Details that are simple, impossible for plasma or oxyfuel cutting. It costs up to 10 times faster than plasma and 20 times faster than oxyfuel, with minimal heat applied to the piece. A laser source can last over 10 years without any internal maintenance, a sealed, reliable and whisper quiet system. The same job costs just 4 cents per linear meter. That's a 95% reduction in production cost. Coring metal 20 times faster while spending 20 times less. That's how disruptive laser technology is. The cost varies depending on power and work area. A basic setup can range from 20,000 to 25,000 while a fully automated industrial system can reach up to 300,000. What truly matters isn't how much it costs, it's how much it saves the investment space for itself in just a few months thanks to the low operating costs and huge profit margin. A laser isn't an expense, it's a competitive advantage. Fiber laser isn't just a tool, it's the new standard in metal manufacturing. Faster, more precise, more profitable, with less maintenance, less waste and more efficiency.